Hey, it's Serge from Successful Fan. So in this video, I want to give you a quick list of 10 little things that I love with my Tesla Model 3. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so when I come into the car, you can see it directly greets me with my calendar. It's a little thing, but I love it. You can see here I have easy entry on. And basically the way I've configured it is that uh, when I'm uh, here uh, sitting in the car and basically the steering wheel uh, is up by default and once I'll press on the on the pedal uh, the steering wheel will go down and the seat will go forward and down also so let me show you that so here I'm just gonna press on it and there you go so that makes it easier to get in and out because I've got the seat back and up and also uh, the steering wheel has moved so it's a little thing but i love it so i want to show you a little trick that i love also but it took me a while to figure it out uh, so if if you hit the uh, button here you'll get one view here if you hit it again it'll go away but if you hit here um, it will actually toggle between different views and so you can shift it like this and these views are different in terms of features because uh, this one uh, will actually give you the list of all the stuff that you played before so it took me a while to discover this one but, but it's it's actually one of the, my favorites and here on the left you also have your um, on the, sorry on the right you also have your favorites so uh, for example here there's a lot of podcasts and radios uh, that I like that are uh, remembered for me so yeah that's another little thing that I really like So the next thing I like, and it's uh, debatable whether it's a little thing or a big thing, but it's because this car has no gear shift and it's basically a linear, linear motor, uh, it gives you a really smooth ride. And I'm sure there are some excellent uh, automatic uh, gear shift cars that will give you something close to this. But there's really nothing like uh, the smoothness of a, a fully linear uh, gear. And um, so you really have to experience it to enjoy it. I mean, it gives you a level of comfort. And I find my driving to also be less aggressive because of that, because I just want to enjoy or give my passengers a really smooth ride. And especially now that you have one pedal driving working all the way to a stop, uh, that means you can really deliver a, an experience that's I mean, uncomparable to to gasoline cars, um, unless of course you have a really high end uh, car that has a really excellent gear shift. But even so, uh, and even if you're accelerating, for example, if you uh, put your uh, foot all the way down, um, you will not get those jerks that you would get on a on a gear shift car because it really has nothing to do. It's it's just giving you all that power right away. So it's a little thing, but I really love that one. So another feature I like is uh, the audible sounds that you can set up uh, when you go over speed. So um, basically what it allows you is to make sure that you uh, don't have to um, look at the screen to know what your speed is all the time. So the way I'm gonna demonstrate this is a little bit weird. Um, basically, it uses the speeds coming from the map and I know here that there's gonna be an error on the map because basically I'm on a, a sp um, part of the highway where I can drive 100. I know this, you'll see the signs, but the map is not up to date. So here you can see the 100 sign and actually the map is gonna say it's, uh, it's 80 here. Uh, so you'll hear the sound come up and you'll actually see what happens uh, when uh, it disagrees with you for a while. So here, you hear the sound. And it's going to ding a few more times and then after a while it gives up. Uh, which is what you want because in this case it's a mistake. So um, you don't want it to continue uh, pinging you all the time. But this is very useful, uh, especially when you're uh, in the city and places where uh, there's limits at 20 or 30 kilometers an hour. And especially 20 is very difficult to maintain uh, or stay under. Um, <clears throat> so it's really good that you have an audible sound that makes it easy for you to not have to look at your screen 
or even if I had something in front of me, I would still be looking down and I can just stay focused on what's happening on the road and in uh, areas where it's 20 kilometers an hour, they could be uh, pedestrians, kids, um, anything, uh, dogs. Uh, so I think it's really great that you can feature, have this feature that makes you focus more on the road. Um, and something I've been wanting in a car for a long time. So I'm sure there are other cars that have this feature now, but it's again, a little feature that I really love in the Model 3. Okay, another thing I like is the radar with indication of the distance. So let me show you. I'll go forward here and you'll see up here, as I get closer, it just starts displaying the distance it's in centimeters. And so this is very useful to know. Of course, you still have to be careful because some things can't be detected by radar. And here, for example, you see it says stop when I reach 30 centimeters. So that's another thing I like in this car, a little thing, but I really like it. Okay, another thing I love is the Spotify because basically what it does is it gives you 35 million songs directly in your car. So let's uh, show it quickly. So go to, go to Spotify and here you have all your songs and that's your library. And then you can switch to any one of them and you can start playing any one you want. So that's really cool. And you can also search, of course. Do you want to search for something? Yeah. Okay, you can... Uh... Ah, the sun. Oh, you have the sun in your face. Yeah. So what are we on? So as you search, it will, it will search in not only Spotify, but also in... Um, karaoke and all the other stuff yeah so you can go by songs and play songs okay so that's another little thing but I really like it another feature a small thing I really like is the fact that the navigation is directly integrated with Google search so I will demonstrate this so go to navigate so it's again me and now from and now type in Tesla and you can see here yeah here it already gives you all the results the results for Tesla and um, so the Tesla shop Geneva, for example. So of course this you could think is already in there, uh, but actually you have the full power of Google search. So you can search not only by address, by, by, but by uh, any kind of uh, me, me, uh, thing. Me, me, me. So for example, here you have, um, right next to us, you have this company called uh, Hublot, and you can just click on there and get all the information and navigation uh, to it, and even have the opening times. So again, a small thing, but I really like it. Another thing I really like, especially when I have a little bit of time to kill, is to use the entertainment, but my per favorite is YouTube. So if you go to it, yeah, that's right. So there's a game, of course, but there's also the theater, and then you can just literally go there. And I just like to catch up on my favorite YouTubers and uh, stuff like that. So it, uh, it does take a little bit of time to, to load up. Uh, but it's really great to, um, mm. and of course you have the search and you can also um, register uh, yeah. inside of it. And uh, so here he's actually, I think, loading up our channel. And of course you have the autocomplete. There we go. Let's have it. Oh, like and subscribe to your channel. Yeah, so remember to subscribe as he says. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and there we go. And if all right so again oops so it's a little thing but i really like it and so the last uh, little thing i really like and uh, this is one of the most recent ones i've had in the car is uh, the phone charging so now i've installed the wireless charger and if you look at my other video you'll see it's very easy to install and now all i need to do is put the phone here and it starts charging wirelessly now that's not the only option you have when the, you get the car you also have uh, connectors you can install and that way you can plug it in uh, just by uh, hooking it up like that or you can use the USB uh, that are here below and last but not least there's also um, the USB connectors that are back here and so that's great for your backseat passengers uh, that usually also might have if you have kids they usually have a tablet or phone uh, that they would also like to charge so again it's a small thing but i i really like that 
Okay, that's it for my list of 10 little things that I love with my Model 3. Um, if you're interested in having a video about 10 little things that I don't like with my Model 3, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to put a like and uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when I release my next video. And of course, uh, don't hesitate to, hesitate to use the comments uh, if you have any questions or any feedback. I absolutely love it. And uh, thank you so much for all the subscribers uh, that are following me uh, already. Um, I really appreciate your support. Last but not least, if you're interested in getting one of these great cars, I really recommend you use a referral code. Uh, mine is in the description below. And you'll get 1,500 uh, kilometers of free supercharger electricity. And so will I. And also, um, there might be some other perks coming. I don't know, there's some rumors, um, but I really don't know much about that. All right, that's it for this video. See you in the next one, bye-bye.